G'day everyone and welcome back to the X-Files, X-Files the game. It is the morning of day five in the game and we, uh, heading to, no, Here you go, Sandpoint Hangar Number Four, which is where the cryptic uh, phone call led us to. So let's see what happens in the uh, cutscene. Alright, we're in a creepy, creepy hangar. Ooh, doorways. Agent Romo. Ooh, it's Mr. X. I'm so glad to see that you took my advice and came along. So. It's the mystery man. I was expecting someone a little more Sean Connery. I think that'll be quite enough, Agent Wilmore. We don't have much time. So I want you to listen to me very carefully. The most important thing is that you cannot tell anyone that I was here or that we spoke. No one in the Bureau. Not Cook, not Shanks, nor that Seattle police detective you've been teamed up with. Do you understand me? I need your word on this, Agent Wilmore, or I won't help you. You have my word. Good. Listen very carefully to what I have to tell you. Lives are at stake here. Listen very carefully. I shall say this and please. Your own. Mulder and Scully are still alive. So you said. But they won't be much longer if you don't do something about it. Scully and Mulder are not together. You need to find the Jane Doe that was checked into the Presbyterian Hospital in Goldbar three days ago. She's about to be released. This has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with smuggled Soviet plutonium. I've had a feeling that was the case. Listen to me. If you're going to help Scully and Mulder, you're going to need something more than a gun. Men have died in order to possess this. I'm going to loan it to you for a short time. Because without it, there's no way that you could survive. The man that Mulder and Scully were looking for and the man that you need to find if you're going to save them can only be killed by inserting this blade into the base of his neck. <laughs> Who is he? This man is not what he seems. If the injury is not precise, he will kill you. Do not try firing a gun. Don't attempt to do anything except to use this. If anyone discovers that you have it, you're a dead man. Ah, uh, creepy, I like it. Don't forget the Jane Doe at Goldbar. I wonder who that's going to be. Alright. Whoa, take it easy, it's me. I can see that. You get grumpy when your asses run ragged, don't you? What are you doing here? 
Are you kidding? After that phone message, I wouldn't have missed this for the world. Yeah, well, you better be careful or you may run your ass ragged. I wouldn't mind that. It was kind of cute. Cute. Precious springs to mind. Ooh. So, we kind of have a lot to talk about, don't we? Yeah, I guess we do. But first, Jane Doe and Goldbar. All right, game on. We're off to Gold Bar. Gold Bar, Washington. All right, the Presbyterian Hospital in Gold Bar. Yeah. I wonder who this is going to be. Hello. May I ask your business here? Hi, I'm Dr. Creepy. We're looking for Dana Scully. And who might you be? Um, I'm with the FBI. May I see some identification? No, oh, I yes, you can. Yes. Uh, do you recall the name of her immediate superior? I need to phone him, and I've misplaced his information. Uh, Walter, Walter Skinner. Skinner. This is her room behind me. All right. How was her wound? It's begun healing. It was mostly superficial. As to her other condition, I have no idea how to account for it. What other condition? I haven't been able to diagnose it yet, so I've been treating the symptoms. Lethargy, nausea, extreme listlessness, dehydration, memory loss. Is she ready to leave yet? Oh, I wouldn't think so. Moving wouldn't be life-threatening, but she might not find it very pleasant. Has anyone else come to see her? Oh, no. Thank God you're the first. How did she get here? She was brought in. By whom? This is what used to be called a sanitarium, Detective. We're not bound by the same strictures as a conventional hospital, nor would we follow them. We pride ourselves on discretion for the patients, the better they can heal. Mm. Yeah, she, she's... Yeah, she's not... Are you Dana Scully? Who are you? Jillian mm -hmm. Anderson, gotta love it. Uh. Assistant Director Skinner asked us to look for you. I didn't know I was lost. Mm. Who are you? Agent Wilmore. How do I know I can trust you? Who told you I was here? Mm -hmm. A black oh, man. What black man? We don't know his name. That's ridiculous. It was the man who gave me this. All right. He told me I couldn't tell anyone about it. Let's talk. All right. Game on. Mm. How do you feel? Very weak. But actually, I feel a lot better than I did when I first came in here. <sighs> Do you have any idea where Mulder is? I have no idea, but we need to find him. Could you have radiation poisoning? God, I hope not. But I suppose the symptoms do line up. What is this used for? You shouldn't show that quite so openly. I don't know what it's used for. Perhaps Mulder can tell you. Where does the Terracon fit into all this? Well, one way or another, they were involved in smuggling. I think that's a given. I think that there was an accident at sea involving plutonium, and Mulder thinks that they were somehow killed by an EBE. EBE? Extraterrestrial biological entity. What did your autopsy on the crewman reveal? The crew had all been exposed to levels of radiation consistent with a large-scale nuclear blast. Now, clearly that didn't happen, but Mulder took that as proof that a UFO had landed in the area and that an alien life form aboard the craft had irradiated the Terracon crew. I take it you don't subscribe to that theory? There is always an alternate explanation. <laughs> what happened in the warehouse? Mulder and I observed some suspicious traffic in and out of the warehouse. We went in to investigate. We were attacked by a number of armed men. I was shot. There was an odd light. 
Mulder carried me out of the warehouse. I blacked out and I woke up here. Mm. I'm afraid that's all I have to offer. What can you two tell me? Well, there have been other burn victims. I hope that doesn't mean that plutonium was being transported. There's an unidentified man involved. We encountered him at the burn site and then later again at the hauling yard. We found a connection between the warehouse and the hauling yard. It's a trucking outfit in Charno, Gordon's Hauling. They've made numerous deliveries between the warehouse and a rural route that we haven't had a chance to investigate. Seems to me that we need to find the identity of the man from the hauling yard and that you two need to pay a visit to the rural route address. What are you going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is get in touch with Assistant Director Skinner, and then I'm going to check out of here. I can meet up with you two later at your field office, but I think that we have to hurry. Agent Mulder may be running out of time, and if the smugglers do have him held hostage, they have little incentive to keep him alive. Is this the man who shot you? No. I've never seen him before. Alrighty, well, that's everything. Uh, it is time to head to Rural Route 1121. There's nothing like being sent to a creepy a Rural Route destination yeah, in Fonte County in Washington. Ooh, train yard. What is it that we're looking for again? Rear quarter panel from a 64 Dodge Dart. Something with the number 82434 on it, right? That's the idea. Looks like we got our work cut out for us. Ding da ding 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 da ding 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 Paul, this might help us uh, locate something. All right, let's use old mate box uh, binoculars. Found him. Found him, found him, found him. Alright. And... Whose theory do you believe? Mulder's or Scully's? Scully's obviously a by-the-book agent. I think it's great to hear of a detective who's a creative thinker. I'm looking forward to meeting Agent Mulder. Spooky. What do they use this place for? Are you kidding? I'm surprised their operation is this big. The thought of plutonium traveling all over the country via rail is pretty terrifying. Especially considering Amtrak's record. Yeah. <laughs> this yard is deserted. These boxcars haven't been used in years. Uh... Okay. Uh, go, let's see. All right. This car's been burned. Let's go inside and see what. Whoa! Well, obviously this fire is recent. Mm. This looks like an operating room of some kind. Okay. Nothing long around here we can. Right. 
Hey. Hey. Oh. I didn't do nothing. Nobody said that you did. We just want to talk to you. See anything strange around here? Uh, just the two of you. And the birds, of course. That was informative. Is this your home? Home is where the heart is, near or far away. They can sing. He's a nut. No. Mary, that's not very nice. What's this place used for? Well, Don, the Boy Scouts conduct covert operations out here. Mm. You seen any men in suits or uniforms running around? Oh, yeah, all the time. Really? Yeah, ask Jane. I'm besieged by sniveling toadies trying to cheat me out of my sugar fortune. It's been a fire in a boxcar back there. You know anything about that? Sure, Don. I saw the guys who said it. What did they look like? Bloodless yuppies in cheap suits. Two of them. They backed that car up here yesterday and set fire to it in my own backyard. Can you believe that? Uh, I have some stuff, Don. Got it out of that burnt car. You may want it. What kind of stuff? What, from the boxcar? Yeah, the boxcar. You tell me, Don. What kind of stuff do I have? Mm. Photographs. Photos? I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no. You're in the neighborhood. Hmm. Moving pictures. Yes and no. Hmm. Videotape? Yes, sir. We have a winner. Videotape it is. Congratulations. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Uh, Ten bucks. <laughs> we didn't bring money. Smooth, FBI. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. All right. Time to leg it. I guess we need to head to... You have mail. Ooh, mail. Mont Joffin. Preliminary bomb. Uh, bomb type. Use the destroyer structure. Professional device, believes combat called HGW907, which is extremely, uh, extremely powerful blast chemical used exclusively by the U.S. military, Navy SEALs to be exact. It is a super stable compound that starts as two separate catalytic agents. When the two agents mix together, they will not detonate. Hmm. So it's very similar to the explosive used in Die Hard. Die Hard 3. Mm. Well, there you go. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's get on back to the field office. Take me. What's up? Mark Cook, Mary Dorian, Mary Here Astor comes the Mark evil Cook. cook. Nice to Okay, somebody's obviously cutting on something. What do these clandestine medical experiments have to do with Russian smugglers? Yeah, and if this guy's a surgeon, what was he looking for at Gordon's Hauling? And what was that experiment being performed? I don't know. Whatever it was, the patient didn't look human. Is there any way to ID the good doctor there? Yeah, all you gotta do is take a frame of the video and match it against the databases. It can definitely be done. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, capture. Alright, let's capture. 
And all these guys seem to be government and military. Oh, here we go. Colonel Jonathan Rausch. Military surgeon, graduate of University of Rochester Medical School. Uh, Sensen, blah, 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 yada, 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 clearance, D4 and above, Colonel Rausch, given commendation, deleted, assigned to, promoted, deleted, 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 wow. Okay. Hmm. Can you say deleted much? All right. Uh, six. The old computer. There you go. Okay, what do we have here? Good Jonathan Rausch. That's him, all right. Wow, military, huh? Yeah, looks that way. What's that? Someone's trying to establish a video conferencing link. Ooh. Oh, what the hell! Never really tried to use this thing before. Uh, connect. Agent Wilmore? Oh, yeah. here we go. We're in the right place. Oh, mates, here we go. It is How did you get this address? Oh, well, we mates. assumed you had the standard issue bureau box on your desktop. And all those are equipped for full duplex video conferencing, though nobody ever uses it. Mm, so we just duplex. looked you up in the Peekaboo white pages, which lists the DNS entry and IP address of every Peekaboo equipped machine in the country. Oh. Well, pretty straightforward, really. Yeah, it pretty it really is done. actually. Uh, no, I'll, I'll pass. Thanks. Are you sure? She keeps the computer in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I love these Who are guys. You? Friends of Agent Scully. Some of us are more than just friends. She asked us to contact. Yeah, not you, Freddy. What do you want? Agent Scully contacted us with information about the case you're working on. Now, based on what Dana told us, we believe that there's a top secret facility in Alaska involved. Ooh, Alaska. Okay, what's the big deal about Alaska? Well, this facility is used as a nexus point for most of the government's West Coast boxcar work. If this is true, Mulder's in incredible danger. This facility was built in the early 60s. We think they chose Alaska so they can use the Aurora Borealis to hide UFO traffic into and out of the base. We also think an alien craft recovered in the Pacific is stored there. Uh, what's boxcar work? Ah, one of the great unspoken peace dividends. The government has a massive network of rail cars, which they can use as mobile surgical theaters, autopsy rooms, and quarantine facilities. These boxcars have a twofold purpose. They allow the government to quickly pick up and transport stray EBEs, and they serve as a mobile base of operations for a series of genetic experiments. <laughs> what kind of genetic experiments? The cross-pollinization of the human race, intermingling human DNA with genetic material from EBEs. Great, I don't believe this. Suddenly I'm Barbara Bain to you and Martin Landau. <laughs> Where is Mulder? We're not sure. But knowing Mulder, if there's a trail leading to this facility, he's following it. Scully mentioned an unidentified man who was of some concern. Did you manage to determine his identity? Yeah, Dr. Jonathan Rausch, a Navy surgeon. You know, where's he stationed? Eisenhower Field, Alaska. Oh, yeah, that's the guy. He served a stint in Perky, West Virginia? Yes. But this is bad. Listen, you have to get there. Mulder may not have much time left. First go to Rausch's house and then on to the secret base. Okay, how do I get to the base? Well, Scully said you had a PDA? Yeah. Great. I'll email you the GPS coordinates of the base. This fax. Mm -hmm. All the facts you need to know. The Canadian border guard was found dead this morning from massive unexplained burns and Mulder's rental car was observed crossing the Canadian border into Alaska. I don't believe this. Well, that's it then. Uh, no doubt about it. You're going to have to get there ASAP. I just uploaded the GPS data. Okay. All right. We want to keep Mulder alive. We got to get moving. You get to Rouse's. You're probably going to want to take a charter flight. The island's going to be too busy. I'll keep everything nailed down here. Contact the Juno field office. Get you some backup. Think you can scare up a charter flight for this man? Sure, I can do that. Okay, let's go. You want a window or an aisle seat? Well, maybe you should come with me. I don't think so. Why not? 
That's your case, too. Yeah, Alaska is a little outside my jurisdiction. Besides, I have real detective work to do. You be safe. I will. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Not good enough, mate. Not good enough. Now, what are we gonna do? I'm just gonna do a uh, quick save. Alaska. Save it up, yes, because bad things have been known to happen. In All right, let's get moving to. You have mail. Oh, we got mail. Uh, Agent Millmore, we're glad to hear that Scully as well. Hope same for Mulder. Attached coordinates. Aha, uh -huh, your friends in DC. Beautiful. Oh look, coordinates. Hope. Rash's house. Ooh. All right, let's get Rash's house. Ding, da, da, ding, 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 da, da, ding, 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 it's a running dude. All right, so uh, now Not sure what we're looking for. Hmm. Let's see much downstairs. We might as well go upstairs. Oh! Man down. Hey, wake up. What happened to you? Where's Mulder? And none of those things worked. Oh! Edit cord. really concerning that that guy's covered in oily residue. So if there's anything we remember from the television show, the oily residue is bad. Very bad. Alright, let's get up here. Hey! Spooky! Jeez, man, do I know you? Cable guy. You alright? No. What's the matter? My foot's gone to sleep. All right. Agent Wilmore, FBI. Funny, I took you for a spook. Huh. I've been looking for you. Well, you found me. Good old... Spoken with Scully. How is she? She's better. She's out of the hospital. No, it's a sanitarium. I dropped her off there after she was shot in the warehouse. I called the Seattle office for more backup, but all they sent me was more cleaners from the NSA. Who'd you speak to? I didn't have time to ask. We barely got away. I... I... I didn't want to notify anybody of Scully's whereabouts because I didn't know who I could trust. Mm. How did you get here? I was in a rail yard when Roush kidnapped me and stole my car. I always wanted to see the Pacific Northwest. Unfortunately, there's not much view from the trunk. Mm -hmm. Roush is downstairs. You're kidding. He didn't flame you? I beg your pardon? Uh, nothing. What condition is he in? Uh, unconscious and covered in 48 motor oil. Oh, Roush. Yeah, he always did have a kinky streak. <laughs> well, let me guess. Was this uh, rail yard on rural Route 1121? You got it. They use it as a staging area. Yeah, so I've been told. 
Frohickey sends his love. You're quite the social butterfly. Frohickey, Roush, Scully. Do you know Skinner? Yeah, he set me on the case. I should have known. Why did Roush kidnap you? Roush is a Navy surgeon who's involved in alien experimentation. The alien that controlled him, or controls him, crashed into the sea two months ago. You did say the alien that controlled him. Well, there's a species of alien that can use humans as host. The, the parasite completely takes over the target human, even gaining access to knowledge that the human possesses. The only way you can tell the difference is there's a thin film of black oil that swims over the victim's eyes. The crew of the Terracon came across one of these Valdez-type aliens, who promptly nuked them. The government apprehended it and put it in one of their boxcars, but somebody screwed up and it escaped. Yeah, Roush had that uh, same black film on his eyes. Yeah, you're lucky he didn't try to kill you. I'm pretty sure the alien's trying to get back to its ship. That's why it used Roush to get here, but I have no idea where that ship might be. As I was coming up, I saw a man in black fatigue leaving the house. Well, we've got to catch up with him. He's the new host. But we have to figure out where they're headed. I know. I was given the location of a secret government facility by three men via video conference. Oh, that sounds like a reliable source. Hello, Moto! Yes. Agent Wilmore, it's Dana Scully. Where are you? Uh, Juneau, Alaska. Have you found Mulder? Yeah, he's right here. Thank God. Can I talk to him? Mm, it's Scully. Scully. Scully, where are you? I'm on my way to Juneau. Well, who's your travel agent? Byers, Frohickey, and Langley. God love him. Do you have your cell phone with you? Yes. All right, I'll call you back. All right, then, let's get going. Ooh, goons. Great, it looks like we got some uninvited guests. And Hired okay. goons. And Jehovah's Witnesses. I need you to keep them busy for me long enough to meet Scully back at that facility. Then you get away and meet us there. Uh, hold on. I was assigned to find you and Scully. I've done that. I'm out of here. What kind of attitude is that? The game's not over yet. Don't you want to wait around for the payoff? Let's, uh, well, yeah, we're going to save that up. Let's mm. get downstairs. Time for a bit of gunplay. Agent Wilmore, we're with the National Security Agency. We've Ooh. been tracking a plutonium smuggling ring from the Soviet Union and cool. Yugoslavia through Hong Kong and into Seattle. Now, we have hard evidence that the Terracan was a courier ship which carried goods from outside the Seven Mile Zone. Plutonium killed the crew as well as the man who died in Charno. Your investigation here is over, Agent Wilmore. You will immediately board a plane for Seattle. We will assume your duties here. We will take you to the airport now. Yeah, no. Yeah. No. So, dead goons. All right, folks, we're going to leave this episode here. If you enjoyed this episode of The X-Files, the game, please remember to click a like, thumbs up, all that good stuff. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more videos and hit the notification icon for the notification when there's new videos of this, Seven Days to Die. Possibly some other games coming right down the pipe. And other things. So yeah. Thanks again for joining us. And until next time. Later.